Hey there, welcome back to my channel. All right, if you're new here, my name is Brittany with Bits of Brit Leveling Up. I do post new videos every Tuesday about my journey with my physical, mental, financial, and... Mental, physical, financial, and spiritual health. <laughs> yep, okay. It's kind of day. My name is Brittany with Bits of Brit Leveling Up. I do post new videos every Tuesday about my journey with my physical, mental, financial, and spiritual health. Today's video is going to be a video about my 5K journey in the 30 days. With this journey, it's kind of interesting. I thought that it would be pretty amazing, but I definitely wanted to touch points. Like, this video is not going to be about some dramatic weight loss, and it's not going to be about... Uh, how amazing I did. It's literally going to be about how I struggled and what it took for me to switch my mindset at the end of everything so that I could make sure that I did run my 5k. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, reading some notes here. <laughs> so with this video, I thought that I would be super excited and I would have some before and after pictures and it would just be some great experience, it, just some fairy tale stuff. I mean, I pretty much romanticized, romanticized in my head what it would be like to run a 5K. Believe it or not, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. Um, so at the beginning of this program, I felt super confident, super strong, powerful, and like I could do anything. By the end of this program, I was feeling really... I don't want to say disappointed in myself, but a little disappointed in myself. I felt discouraged. I did feel hopeful and I, I'm not going to lie. I feel almost excited for my next 5k. I know that sounds crazy, but in this journey, I have realized how resilient I am with my mental and my physical health. I realized how strong and courageous I am because when some people were kind of making jokes about, you know, how much my progress was not progress, <laughs> it kind of, you know, was disheartening to me. And it took me a lot of courage to realize that the only person that I should be competing with or that I am competing with should be myself. So it doesn't matter what some people say about how the things that you're doing isn't good enough. Or if they don't even say those exact words, just the insinuation that something that you're doing is not quite where people should be. It doesn't matter. You're your own individual. Who cares what people say? <laughs> like it has taken me so long to come to that conclusion. And I still question and I still feel that way. But in my journey, I thought that I would be able to do a moderate kind of workout or I didn't realize it was moderate, but when I did realize it after ordering the program and getting everything, I was like, oh, it's fine. There's some form of modifications in there. I can do it. I did the first two weeks great. It was pretty good. I was feeling pretty confident. Um, I did have to take a few breaks in there, um, take days off, because one, I did go get tested for COVID because of some stuff that um, concerned me. I probably honestly didn't even need to go get tested. Anyways, um, the other thing was I had my photo shoot and it was a lot more disheartening and discouraging than I thought it was. Sorry, I'm working right now so I have to move my mouse before my thing goes to sleep and they realize I'm not working. Yay. So um, it was kind of disheartening because I started being mean to myself. Like I was telling myself that I was a fatty and that I was stupid for trying to do this and that I can't believe I'm all the stuff that I've tried so hard to work on. I'm regressing because I'm not, you know, doing all these different workouts that I'm feeling strong with. Um, I don't know, I was just being mean. Like I was calling myself stupid and calling myself an idiot, which is not okay. Never ever should anybody ever do that because regardless of how you're feeling in that moment, you don't really mean that to yourself. Anyways, long story short, um, into the third week, I was super like, I can't do this. I'm not going to do it anymore. So after day 20, I still did my running, but I didn't actually do some of the workouts because it got like each week intensified. And on the third week, it was so intense that even if I modified, it wasn't even, I couldn't even do any of it. So I ended up doing a different kind of program that was still trained strength training ish um on top of my runs and I could tell that my body was it just was not right so I just kept trying to push myself um I did start following my journey on TikTok or I did start 
kind of doing my journey on TikTok day one through 20. And then after day 20, I kind of fell off because of how hard I felt. Um, I don't know. Anyways, so after um, I stopped recording on day 20, I almost didn't run my 5k because I was like, what is the point? And then I remembered that it is, I'm the point. I thought that in the past I would never be as good as I was as my previous self. Um, before I get too far into that, let me go ahead and just show you my cute little TikTok. Here it is. So today is day 30, 5k day. I'm honestly not looking forward to it. Yeah, let's do it to it. <laughs> well, I did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. My goal was a 5k in 45 minutes, but I did it 45 minutes and 49 seconds. <laughs> I feel like that's a mission accomplished. Well, I was talking to Jenny, my husband, shout out to you. And I just kind of started crying tears of gratitude and being proud of myself. Like I honestly never thought after being diagnosed with my medical issues and my mental health issues and dealing with miscarriages a few years ago, that I would ever be better than myself. And then I had a few people kind of joke or I guess make fun of my progress and yeah either way I'm so proud of myself and I can't believe that I did it I did it I did it I can't wait to beat my own time in August <laughs> I'm so proud of myself yeah so as you've seen in there um I did not end up running the 5k on Saturday like I was initially meaning to because of how discouraged I felt like I just felt like I couldn't do it like what I was doing it didn't matter it wasn't good enough so even if I did do it it wouldn't be something to be proud of which is crazy I know so Sunday I woke up super early and I literally was in tears um, on the last I want to say quarter of a mile of my run because I was just so proud of myself and I did end up setting my goal to run a 5k in 45 minutes in April and then I think my other goal is 30 minutes in August I'll have to check I don't know <clears throat> so I'm pretty much competing with myself in August to beat my own time so I'm hoping that I continue to work hard and push myself so when I go back to do this program or whatever it is it'll be a lot easier and I won't feel so mentally defeated and I'm hoping by then anyways I'm able to once again, twist my own mind to where it's not that negative thinking and it's that positive thinking because the more negative thoughts I have in my head, the less I'll be able to manifest and I'm all about that manifestation. Okay, girl. Okay. We can talk about that later. <laughs> but halfway through, I almost gave up. And so when I finally got to the last like quarter of the mile, I was in tears because I was so proud of myself. I couldn't believe that I could do it. Literally, I kept repeating myself over and over to myself like you got this you can do this you got this like this is your goal no one else set this goal for you so it was oh I'm gonna cry again because I'm so proud of myself um but it was just so thrilling and I've never felt so much excitement and pride in myself like I felt that for other people and I felt that for my nieces and my family and my friends but I've never felt that for myself before and so when I felt that I just had such tears of gratitude again I'm always crying tears of gratitude now which is such an amazing thing because I know that's part of manifesting stuff so I ended up making my goal I did 45 minutes and 49 seconds so I yeah I didn't quite hit the 45 minutes but I hit you know an exception of 40, 49 seconds. Anyways, so to me, that's mission accomplished. So this video ended up not being about, you know, like I mentioned, a dramatic weight loss or about how good I did. This video literally is going to be that encouraging moment when I'm sitting there thinking the next time how hard I did, how hard it is and how much I'm struggling and what I can't do. Sorry, I got to shake my mouse again how hard I have to push myself in order to make it, I, I can remember this moment and how proud I was and excited I was. And so once again, like I am so thankful for this channel because I have the option to be able to have these moments of questioning myself. And then as I'm recording, because this is the second video that I'm recording for my 5k thing. And as I'm recording, like I just feel like I'm working through something and I'm just so proud of myself and I'm seeing a, a whole different me. Like I'm loving myself. I'm, I'm able to love more people around me. I'm more, I'm able to give more to people. I just feel more 
like I used to. I feel more me. And it, this has been such an amazing journey so far, and I can't wait to continue with it. Um, if y'all like my journey, please continue to follow along. I am going to go ahead and end this video here because like I mentioned, I am currently at work, <laughs> so I need to do that. But I wanted to give you guys a little update and kind of work through this for myself and make me realize that it doesn't matter what people say. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good night. I love you so much. I hope that you like this. Bye. Oh, okay. Well.